So the Canon 6D Mark II is one of the best entry-level full-frame cameras, and I think it's the only DSLR with a full-frame sensor that also has a screen that flips to selfie mode. Pretty cool. And in this video, I just want to quickly talk about my favorite all-around lens for the 6D Mark II, especially if you're on a budget. Coming up. Hey, what's up, Sean here, and this is Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do a lot of strategy videos as well as tech gear reviews, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out show notes as usual in the YouTube description below. We'll list out all the gear we talk about as well as bonus resources and things like that. Let's jump into the video. So over the past four or so months, my day-to-day -day shooter has been the Canon 6D Mark II. And I love this camera because it's a great entry-level full-frame camera, so you get incredible photos, great video quality, better depth of field, performance in low light, all of that. But you also have a flip screen to selfie, and I'm pretty sure this is the only full-frame camera on the market anywhere that actually has that selfie screen, making it great for vlogging, running gun content, and quick content creation and that's a lot of what I do making micro videos for Instagram making kind of vlog style footage etc as well as even shooting some interviews and some other things with this camera it's just a great all-around shooter that's super versatile and I've been looking for a great lens for it now when I first picked up this camera I actually have been using it with the 16 to 35 2.8 L glass lens now this is a killer lens takes some beautiful photos and is good for video as well but it doesn't have the IS, no image stabilization, and it also has the older motor, the USM, the ultrasonic motor, which again, for photography um, is great, even for video is pretty good, but of course, there's the new STM motors that Canon offers, which brings me to really my favorite lens for this camera, and that is actually the Canon 24 to 105 STM lens that has built-in image stabilization. Now you might be saying, Sean, that's actually the kit lens that comes with the Canon 6D Mark II, and you would be correct. However, when I first got this body, I did not get this lens, and I actually discovered it later, but I think that's actually the case for a lot of people. I actually don't think there are enough people talking about this lens, especially for how it can work for video and all around shooting. So let's jump into some of my favorite features. We'll look at some example footage, some photo examples. Let's go. So the first reason why I love this lens is because of the focal range. So having one lens that can go as wide as 24 millimeters and it's zoomed in as 105 is super cool. Secondly is the built-in image stabilization in the lens. Now, I mentioned I started originally shooting with the 16 to 35, and it produces great results for photo and video, but I really wanted IS in this for video, and it's just not there. And so I think if you are gonna use this for run and gun, again, in San Diego, here in Vegas, using this kind of as a vlogging style camera for doing quick content, that image stabilization is a big deal. And you can even see the results at like 105 here with the IS turned off versus when it's turned on, it really helps uh, take jitter out of the shots and can give you a little bit better performance in photos um, and can also give you much better performance as it pertains to video. The third thing I love about this lens is the STM autofocus motor, right? And so the Older system for Canon is ultrasonic motors, USM, but STM really changed the game by being a stepper motor for smoother focus. So it's also smooth and silent, so you don't hear or any of that stuff, right? And so I was shooting an interview with my friend Sonny at uh, Traffic and Conversion Summit recently, and what I love is number one, you could trust the dual pixel autofocus inside of the 6D Mark II, the best autofocusing system really on the market. You know, just for face tracking, I love it because we were just shooting solo, nobody was manning the camera, and so having an autofocus system that you just know is gonna work, it's gonna be great for uh, face tracking, things like that, is huge if you're shooting in those conditions. But then having that STM motor also lets you know that any kind of focus shifts are gonna be really, really smooth. And I'm pretty sure that this is the only full frame lens of available that has that. So it makes it a great combo 
with this camera. Additionally, I love this lens because it's lighter weight than other Canon glass. Now, of course, Canon glass is some of the best in the game, period. L glass, anything with that red line on it. But a lot of these lenses are a little bit heavier. Now, this isn't the lightest kit lens in the world. It just has a metal mount, mostly it's plastic, but it is light compared to other heavier Canon type lenses. And so if you're gonna vlog with this or run and gun with this, it's no small setup. I mean, it's still a heavier setup, but every amount of weight counts in my opinion. So this is one of the lightest lenses you can find that still offers that big focal range and whatnot. So having it be light is great. Which brings us to the fifth thing, and that is the build quality. Now, all things considered, it's actually a pretty great build quality. You have metal mounting, it's mostly plastic, um, but for the fact that it is a budget lens, a kit lens, it is pretty great. Now, it's not really weatherproof, whereas the 60 Mark II body is, but as a durable setup for running around, shooting all day, having it in your hands, um, I really like the feel and the vibe of this entire lens. Which brings us to the final reason why I love this lens and why I think it's one of the best all around lenses for the Canon 60 Mark II, and that is the price. Now, at the time of shooting this video, I'm pretty sure you could pick up this lens from Canon on Amazon refurbished for just $400. That's where I picked one up. Amazon Prime shipped to my house and boom, I was ready to go. The lens was perfect, it was brand new, even in refurbished condition. And that's pretty incredible when you consider that most most of the EF lenses and especially L glass lenses are right under a thousand dollars or over a thousand dollars. The L glass version of this lens is the 24 to 105 F4 USM 2 L glass, I think comes in at right around a thousand dollars. And again, if you're going to be shooting pro photos, you want that extra crispy sharpness, all of that, of course you'd want to go with L glass. When I say that this is the best lens for the 60 Mark II, I'm talking about depending on what you need. I'm saying for running gun, vlogging, all around, lighter weight, you know, versatile, and very budget. Now, of course, there's better lenses depending on the final result or thing that you're after, but I definitely think that this stacks up, and I don't think enough people are talking about it or trying it when it comes to using this with the 60 Mark II. But of course, there are some downsides to this lens as well, so let's just touch on those briefly. And the first one is the fact that when you zoom in, it extends quite a bit, right? So if you're shooting in public with this, I mean, it's not a huge deal, and I don't really mind, but I always imagine what people are thinking when they see that thing, and they're like, my gosh, like what kind of camera is that guy using, you know? Whereas a lot of lenses, the way they zoom is um, contained. It's, it's inside of the lens, not actually extending the lens on the end. So just something to um, mention and something to point out. And the other thing is that it's not the fastest lens in the world. It starts at 3.5 at 24, which is pretty uh, decent. But then when you zoom in, it goes all the way down to 5.6. That's pretty dark. And it's not gonna give you um, that much depth of field when you zoom in that far. And so if you want that super blurry background, there's definitely better lens choices. If you are in really low light situations, again, there's definitely other lens choices. However, from testing this a lot, the fact that this is a full frame camera and the 60 Mark II's performance in low light in general, you don't wanna compare this apples to apples. For example, on the Canon G7X Mark II, at 24 millimeters, it's 1.8 aperture and all the way zoomed in, it's 2.8 aperture. However, keep in mind that the sensor inside of this camera is much smaller than a full frame sensor inside of the 60 Mark II. And so from using this in a lot of low light situations, even with this lens, I've realized that that full frame sensor can handle higher ISOs, it can handle that aperture not being as fast and still produce great results. Whereas the sensor much smaller here needs to have a much faster aperture to even perform it all in low light. And additionally, the full frame sensor also influences depth of field. And so while an aperture of 5.6 is not gonna give you a great blurry background, it's not gonna be the same as shooting on an APS-C uh, camera, a Canon 80D, T7i, you know, a camera like that you're still gonna get better depth of field even with not as ideal apertures. So again, from using this just in practical situations, I love the way the shots look in low light. I love the depth of field I can still get when zoomed in simply because of the quality of the sensor inside of the Canon 60 Mark II. And then finally, one final note is I would not recommend using this lens on a crop sensor camera like the Canon T7i. Just to kind of briefly explain that if you're new to lenses 
and cameras. On Canon's line, if you ever see a lens that says EFS, that means it'll only work on a crop sensor camera. Meaning if you put an EFS lens on a full frame camera, it would, there'd be black around it. You wouldn't be able to utilize the full lens there. Furthermore, if the lens says EF, that means it works on full frame cameras. But what happens is, if you were to take this EF lens and put it on a Canon T7i, you're gonna have a crop factor of 1.6, which means simply that you would have to multiply the focal length. So at 24 millimeters, you would not be starting at the same look you would get on the Canon 6D Mark II. On the 6D Mark II, it'd be nice and wide like this, but on the T7i, it would be more zoomed in like this because it's an EF lens on a crop sensor camera, Make, meaning the focal length is kind of weird and more unusable. So if you've got a SL2, a T7i, a camera like that, I recommend the kit lens that Canon has for that camera, and that is the EFS 18 to 35 IS STM lens. So it's still a kit lens, it has image stabilization, it's got that STM motor, but it's meant to be on a camera that has a crop sensor like the 70D, 80D, T7i, SL2, cameras like that. Question of the day, what is one of your favorite lenses right now that you love shooting with? And what do you think about the lens that I just described for the 6D Mark II? Do you disagree, do you agree? Do you have a different lens you'd recommend for this camera or other full frame cameras? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you wanna check out another video about my favorite budget lenses for Canon cameras, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.